Hi guys, so I ran this saw the other day and uh, I don't know if you've seen the video, but the long and short of it is, firstly, they always say these things happen in threes, don't they? They say things go wrong in threes. Well, this is the third saw that I've got that's got noticeable piston slap. Um, hadn't noticed it before, but after running it for a little while, um, yeah, I picked up on it. But the long and short of it is, it's not a big deal. However, I have some, and I would normally not bother, I just run it as normal, but I do have a piston I won't use this cylinder because I don't think uh, it's in very good condition, unless that one's worse. But I have a spare piston in here. So what I thought we'd do is we'll strip this saw apart. It won't take long. And we will uh, measure the piston, check the cylinder, and actually see if this piston has more clearance. Uh, sorry, if this is a tighter fit in the cylinder. Uh, and then maybe we'll swap it over. So here's a quick sound of the piston slapping in this saw. And uh, also you may have noticed that this saw was the one that wasn't self-feeding very nicely. I found the issue. I believe this to be it. Uh, notice, so this can't go this side at all, but notice this. Nothing this side. Notice this side. So that uh, movement the bar rails are actually closed correctly but the drive links themselves are worn let's get around to taking this apart Okay, so we have, can you see? I'm going to zoom you in for this anyway. So we have C piston and rings, that came out of this saw. We have the B piston and rings, that came out of the other O2O AV that I've got. We'll call it 888, that's pretty pretty much somewhere in the middle there. 888, and I'll go to this piston. I'll just say 37.908 seems to be about where we are roughly. 37.908, let's write that down. 37.908. Now we'll check to see what the clearance is in the cylinder. Thirty-eight point oh three nine. Let's write that down and we can do it a couple of times and make sure we're close. Let's try that. Thirty-eight point oh three nine. That's exactly the same. Bang on twice. Okay, thirty-eight point oh three nine. Let's do the calculation for this. Nine minus eight is one. Three is zero. Eight seven ten. That's one point zero zero. So th it's slapping at zero zero point one three one. You know that doesn't give you much room for error, does it? I spoke to um, Pioneer Guy, and he changes his pistons between 0.12 and 0.14. And that's a perfect example as to why. I mean, we're 0.13 and we're, we're, we're starting to get slap uh, in there. So let's now take that other cylinder and we'll measure the same spot and the other piston and we'll see uh, how that goes. But as we speak at the moment, this piston is in better condition than that one. So let's put that there. 
that's really useful to know that this is where it first starts to become audible. It's not hugely noticeable, but it is, it is starting. So let's put that to one side. Let's take this one. Gosh, this looks a lot worse. Thirty-eight point oh six two. We're just going to go do that one more time. Thirty-eight point oh six two. Thirty-eight point oh six two. Thirty-eight point oh six zero. That was an awesome reading again. That's two micron difference. So zero point zero zero two millimeters uh, within spec uh, within each other. So that's more than fine. So what does that tell us? Let's measure that and the clearance, and we'll see where we go from here. 30, so it was 38.06, we'll do it by one because that's the average. 37 point, now what was it? Eight, 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 I think eight, 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 was it something like that? We'll have to go back, but we've got all the information now if we need to. So uh, six is five, one, uh, there's 11, that's there, 8, 9, 10, 11, that's 3, can't do, can't do, 8, 7, 10, 9, 1, 8 from 15, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, that's 7, 9 from 8 is 1.00. So the clearance on the old cylinder, I, I have to go back in the video if I have got it wrong, it's fine to correct me. We've got 0.173 and on the new cylinder we've got 0.131. So what we'll do, let's also just have a quick look at the ring end gap. So this one was a top ring. Yep, that's where we are. So top ring is 0.63. Yep, that's exactly where we are. 0.45. Bottom BTM. Now it should be 0 0.004 millimeter per uh millimeter of bore diameter that's new and 0 0.01 millimeters per more bore diameter is where we replace it well let's start with 0.1 so they should be replaced at 0.38 and they're currently 0.45 and 0.63 that 0.45 i actually don't mind at uh, the 0.63 that's definitely more worn than uh, i'd like so i'm actually going to flip the rings around i'm going to put the this one on the top and the other one on the bottom. What is interesting is I took apart my 076 and that had 0 0.10 and that was no slap. I can't hear any slap on there at all. Um, so it, somewhere between these two is where slap starts to occur. So that's really interesting, really interesting. Um, so let's, yeah, let's clean that up. We'll put it back together and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. All right, hold tight. And they are there. So that is the piston installed. So pressure, it should hold around about seven PSI. Yep, it's holding steady at seven. We'll see if we can go up a bit more. Oh, the spark plug's actually holding. I'm genuinely surprised by that. Yeah, no leaks there at all. Let's see if the seals are holding up. So any leak now is going to be a seal. So really I want 14, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, honestly, they're holding absolutely solid too. That's, that's absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you what we should have done. We probably should have spun the crank. Oh, well, that's off now. I'm more than happy with that. Honestly, I probably would have had it already on by now. And I'm risking damaging things. So let's just, uh, uh, it's only gonna take a second. Let's just pop it off, do it properly. Okay, that's nicely secured on there, all the way around. Eight, eight. I don't know if I've actually got into it. Oh no, that's just gone. 
Oh, and I just broke my gasket. F Like that. Okay, and now you break the tab off. Your pencil. Which way? That way. Pretty happy. It, it's it's great. <laughs> it goes that way. I'm going to leave it there for a minute. I'm going to let that gasket, the, the cylinder sink into the gasket. Okay, we're going to do a, just a tune out of the wood. If you haven't seen how to tune a chainsaw video that I did, uh, just check that out. There's a, a really good video that I'm happy with. Job done. There we go, guys. Cheers.